the uh, the story of, of how we met was uh, it was kind of neat and uh, down at the retreat in Garmish and uh, you know thanks to the dudes that were able to to send you down there and make that happen with uh, with their support and uh, and whatnot but uh, you know you first came up there that first night with the uh, with the youth and said you know I got prophetic uh, maybe not prophetic but uh, you started speaking uh, you know what God was telling you uh, about their lives and you know I remember thinking you know saying to God all right uh you know if this cat's this cat's real have him say something about me um and then the next night you rolled right into it and uh you know pointed at me and said something well two things actually that uh that nobody really could have known about uh because we really didn't tell anybody about uh you know my lack of job here in a few months and the uh the decision that Holly and I my wife uh in case you're showing anybody this video uh about having a second kid and uh you know so it was really uh you know it's an honor and a pleasure to meet you and i can definitely uh definitely see god's work in your life uh you know so just uh kind of neat to see that and uh you know again i just wanted to, to thank uh thank the dudes out there that uh enabled you to come out there for the uh military ministries retreat down at garmish and uh that was cool and uh you yeah, know really do appreciate it The uh, the second story that I told you I was going to give you is the uh, the one of when I got injured in in, in Afghanistan and how uh, how God worked my life through that and uh, you know you can just see His awesome uh, protecting power in that and uh, you know the uh, like I told you uh, at the retreat the uh, I was on a patrol a dismounted patrol and uh, you know at some point in time I'd take it off my helmet and set it to the side. And uh, it got knocked off the hill by an explosion. And in my mind, um, you know, something inside me, and in my heart, I guess you could say, you know, hey, you're going to need that, you're going to need that. You should probably go get your helmet. So, uh, you know, I ran down about, I don't know, 75 to 100 meters, got my helmet, strapped it back on, ran back up the hill. Um, you know, and a short time later, we were, we were hit by an RPG. Um, which doesn't sound too amazing, but it, it gets better. Uh, what happened is, uh, because I got my helmet, um, I'm here today, and the fact that I can still see is a miracle in itself. Uh, when the RPG hit and hit the dude directly in front of me, uh, he was killed instantly, unfortunately. Uh, a huge piece of my, my brain bucket, my helmet, uh, was torn out and I got a bunch of shrapnel to the face and the eyes and, uh, and a few other places but you know the man in front of me died and the person behind me is blind for life uh, you know I managed to to keep my eyesight and and my brain which is a uh, which is a good thing uh, and so you could just really see God's uh, God's saving grace in there one for war, telling me hey you're gonna go need your helmet uh, so once you go get it and to the fact that uh, you know my eyesight uh, was spared along with my life, uh, you know, it truly really is a miracle. If you look at the uh, the frag pattern, things like that, that uh, I'm still here and I still have my eyesight. And you know, I give all the glory to God in that one.